you know like 90% of the students they were not able to attempt this question but as it was for one mark only so when the examiner has asked you a question for one mark you can understand that it must be tricky for the one see for one mark the question can be either direct okay you can just simply answer it or otherwise if it does not appear to you easy and if it is for one mark for sure it is tricky question but anyway now let us see this question in the mechanism shown below if the angular velocity of the eccentric circular disc is 1 radian per second my dear students say suppose we have a disc if we hinge it from the center it won't make a cam but if we hinge it away from the center it will become a eccentric circular disc cam okay so such a eccentric disc cam we have eccentric circular disc is 1 radian per second its angular velocity is given as the sense was also given and the magnitude is 1 radian per second the angular velocity of the uh, angular velocity in radian per second of the follower link this one is follower for the instant shown in figure is all dimensions are in millimeter like here this is 5 millimeter this radius of this circular disc is 25 millimeter and hinge you know the axis of rotation of this follower and the cam is 45 millimeter away from each other my dear students if you do understand see please listen to me here what is happening when this cam is rotating this cam is rotating like this okay this follower is oscillating like this at an instant when the velocity angular velocity of cam is 1 radian per second of course for sure this follower will rotate in this sense only but but with what omega with what omega that is being asked to you now my dear students in the mechanism shown below if the angular velocity of the eccentric circular disc for this eccentric circular disc if the angular velocity is 1 radian per second the angular velocity of this follower is asked my dear students you know here you have to use r and hold kennedy's angular velocity ratio theorem listen to me carefully here three links are there first is fixed link and second is what beta the oscillating follower and third is your eccentric circular disc cam first fixed second third follower and cam my dear students omega of third link is given omega of second link is asked to you see omega of second li link is asked to you and omega of third link is given to you and first is fixed link can't you use the r and hold angular velocity ratio theorem that is omega 2 into the gap between i 1 2 and i 2 3 will be equal to omega 3 i 1 3 i 2 3 my dear students this question is about calculating these i centers because omega 3 is given you can simply find out if you can find the gap the distance of i 1 2 from i 2 3 and i 1 3 from i 2 3 you can find the omega 2 and it's so easy to locate them my dear students this one is the you know hinge or revolute pair so of course that will be i 1 2 let me take some other color it is not visible so this one this one is i 1 2 if you do understand and because 1 and 2 are making turning pair here beta this is turning pair of first oh sorry 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 this is i 1 3 this one is i 1 3 let me tell you again as beta this is turning pair of 1 and 3 so if it will be i 1 3 actually okay as it is turning pair of first as fixed and third as cam and here it is turning pair of first and second so beta this will be i 1 2 now my dear students i 1 2 and i 1 3 is located what about i 2 3 first of all beta from r and hold kennedy's theorem we all know that i 1 2 i 1 3 and i 2 3 they must lie on the same line they all three should lie on a same line that line joining i 1 3 and 1 2 is this one line so for sure i 2 3 will be on this line only and another part is better if you do understand second and third are making surface contact here or the you know the contact you can see the the, the disc cam and the follower my dear students i 2 3 what is i 2 3 if you ask me the physics i 2 3 is the i center uh, you know i 2 3 instantaneous center what is instantaneous center from where you can assume a body in pure rotation so that the physical sense of it is 
with respect to I23, the <coughs> point about which a body third will be in pure rotation if you see it from second body and vice versa. That is, if you see from I23, if you see uh, if you are sitting on the third uh, link and if you see uh, the second link, it will be in the pure rotation. My dear students, I12 is what? With respect to first, second is in pure rotation about this point. What is I13? With respect to first, third is in pure rotation. Because first is fixed link, so they are, you know, absolute rotations. But my dear students, with respect to two, you may see third. With respect to three, you may see second. I I23 is the I center about which one body will be in rotate. Uh, you will find one body is in pure rotation about another body. You can find a second in rotation about third or you can find third in rotation about second. But how do you locate that I23? One thing is better that should lie on this line joining I12 and 13 and another is, my dear student, you must have studied, for the bodies which are in surface contact, the I center will be in the common normal. I center will be on the common normal. My dear student, common normal here, you can easily see, this will be common normal. I guess you do understand. Because this follower, is nothing but tangent and perpendicular to tangent in circles is always radial line. Perpendicular to tangent is radial line and radial line always passes through the center. Now, if you do understand, my dear champs, this one is third, okay. Now, if you do understand, one thing is I center should lie on this line. Another thing is I center should lie on this line. If you do understand better, this point will be the I. 2, 3. This will line will be, uh, point will be the I2, 3. Now you can simply put beta omega 2, you wish to calculate. I1, 2 and 1, 3. This one is 1, 2, 1, 3. 40, uh, 1, oh sorry, I1, 2, 2, 3. I1, 2, 2, 3. 45 plus 5, 50. That is 1 radian per second. Multiply I1, 3 and I1, 3 and 2, 3. I1, 3 and 2, 3. That is 5. Omega 2 will be 5 by 50. Am I doing it rightly? Omega 2, 5 by 50. Yes, 1 by 10, that is 0 0.1 radian per second. I guess you must have liked this question. You may take the screenshot.